Well, we're sort of picking up from where we left off last week, the mill wheel. And we put this uh, motor in, and we went through some variations on this and finally landed on this variable speed, which is a little extreme. Yeah, and uh, the fortunate thing here is now it's quiet. Well, that's the important thing, is having it quiet. Because this week, we're adding sound. Oh. <laughs> And if, uh, if we're putting in sound and the motor's in here going, rah, 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 it's, you know, it's going to spoil the whole thing. And that first motor was, rah, rah, rah. oh my goodness. So now we can add in some water splashes and I'm thinking maybe even a frog. Oh, cool. So here it is in place where it lives down underneath the big trestle. And uh, with the mill wheel going the proper speed, in order to do the sound correctly, I wanted to sort of figure out how fast the wheel needs to go so that the splashing and everything lines up with that. But uh, I think it's going to be great. It looks good. We're going to be using this soundboard. It's an Adafruit sound effects soundboard. And we've used that before. Right. We used that up on the logging railroad for frogs and crickets and distant trains and all kinds of fun. Here's a link to uh, show all about building that sound system. But this week we're doing the, uh, the mix, the sound mix for the sound mill. And we're using my favorite sound application called Pro Tools. Right. I've been using this forever. Uh, I've been using it since it was called Sound Tools. <laughs> right, since Shag was a pup. <laughs> Anyway, this week we're going to be going through how I built the soundtrack in Pro Tools. But uh, there's a lot of ways that you can build your own soundtrack. For one thing, there's a whole bunch of different sound applications available other than Pro Tools. There's also uh, GarageBand, which comes free with all Apple computers. And uh, Apple Logic Pro, which is the professional version of GarageBand. But there's all these other uh, softwares here too. Wow. And uh, some of these have uh, free versions. And you can just download the free version and use that. So you don't have to use Pro Tools. I just like using Pro Tools. And we're going to be using my sound effects library. Right. Uh, I can see there I currently have 159,231 sound effects. Well, somewhere in there, there's got to be a good frog. <laughs> I hope so. I've been collecting these. I've bought some of them from different libraries. I've recorded a lot of them. There's a lot of train sounds, needless to say. But uh, they're all in here, and they're all in pretty much logical directories, I hope. But if we were to dive in here and just try to find something in 150,000 files, we'd never find it. Well, that's encouraging. <laughs> well, the nice thing is there are search engines. And well, I've, yes. <laughs> I've got several on the computer here, but there's a really good one built right into Pro Tools that allows me to search these directories for whatever I'm looking for. Most of the train sounds in here are actually mono because back when I recorded them, that's what I had. <laughs> So what is it? it just goes toot toot or they go well no I've just all kinds I got Challenger and Big Boy and just everything I've ever recorded with the old old video camera, but I only had a single microphone so they're oh, all mono. Oh I see. But some of them are in 5.1, and so you can see here these frogs are in surround sound 5.1, but I can still use them in a stereo mix like this just by grabbing the left and right channel. So let's just take a deep dive into what I did here and how I built the, the mix for the mill. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to um, find some audio files to work with the mill wheel here in Pro Tools. So I've got the application running. So let's start off first by bringing in the video. So that would be import video. And there's my video 4799. I want to bring that in at the session start. That brought it into this track, which brings it up on this screen over here. So when I play it, it plays. 
Now, there's no audio there, which is a good thing because that's what I'm going to try to do is find audio for it. So, um, let's go to my search engine here. I want to make sure I'm searching this directory, the sound effects directory, and not uh, any of my other hard drives or anything. Okay, it came up with nothing. Let's try Water Wheel. If I spell it right. Okay, it has found a whole bunch of files here. Now, I can see that there's duplicates, which just means that I've inadvertently copied the same file in multiple directories on my sound effects drive. Um, let's try this one and see what it sounds like. And let's try this one. This one just seems like a general splashing sort of sound. Okay, so these files are all the same exact water wheel, but recorded from different mic positions, and that's why there's several of them. So that one's getting the clunking sound. Let's try this one. And let's try this one. Okay, so this one's nice. The microphone's really close to where the water is splashing out of the mill wheel. And then, like I say, these are just duplicates of those because they can see they have the same file number. So I have four different tracks here that may work. So what I need to do is import those, but I don't have any tracks in my session yet. So let's go to track, new, and let's make my own seven audio tracks in stereo. And let's drag that general splashing into track two. I'm avoiding using track one because I've got a little technical problem with it. Okay, so there's the water wheel in track two. And there it is playing with the video. Now, I need to control the volume levels of these, and I can do that from here. This is my mixer. But the neat thing here is this mixer is tied to this mixer. So when I move this slider here, you can see I'm moving this slider over here too. Moreover, when I move this slider over here, I'm moving this slider over here, they correspond. So I can make my water sound louder and softer from right there. Okay, let's bring in these other three tracks. So now we have all four audio tracks running in here. Now you'll notice that you can see the waveform of each individual sound here. And since they're the same mill wheel, just recorded from different mic positions, they should line up unless the speed of the wheel changed for some reason. So I'm going to shorten this one up to exactly the spike on the clunking sound, and this one up to exactly 
the splash sound. And then I'm just gonna bring all of them to the very beginning of the track. So now they're pretty much in sync with each other. If I turn all of them down over here, there's my background water sound. And there's my clunking sound. And there's my alternate clunking sound. And there's my splashing sound. Okay. And there they are. Playing with the video. Okay, that's great, that's just fine, except that they don't match the speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the three matching mill wheel sounds here. And I'm going to start by making them all the same length. I just slide in a little slider over here. And I'll do the same thing to the background sound. So everything's the same length, because that's kind of critical for what I'm about to do next. If they're all different lengths, then they're going to come in at different speeds. I don't want that. I'm going to change the speed of the, the general splash, this one, because it's fine. But this one, and this one, and this one are all going just too slow. So let's mess with the splash sound, and let's bring up a way to control its speed. And this is a little plug-in called Time Shift. And it's going so slow, I think, all the way out to maximum, which is 400% faster, is probably correct. And we can test that. I can't see that with the video, I have to just sort of guess. Okay, I think that's going to work. So, 400% faster, and we'll do that to all three of these. And if I, in fact, made them more or less the same length and had them in sync with each other, they should stay the same matching speed and sync. Okay, let's see how that works with the video. Better. Let's get rid of some of the clunking sounds here. My gosh, I think we have something here. Let's go back to the search engine here for a second. And let's just look for, oh gosh, how about a uh, stream? Sort of vaguely interesting, it might work for something. Let's just throw it into an audio track over here. No. That one might work. As you can see, I have something like 250,000 sounds that I've collected over the years. The trick there is it makes it difficult to find something sometimes because you, you know, you've got to search through a lot of stuff. That's not, that's not bad. Let's 
let's try putting that in there. Takes a minute for them to come. It has to copy them into the directory and everything. So I'm just going to shorten these up because they got little fades at the beginning. And now let's see how that plays. And those are on these sliders here. When it runs off the end, you can hear them a lot better. Okay, that's very wet. But I think, I think we're getting there. And then another sound that I was thinking of adding into this mix is a frog. Big frog. All right. This one's in 5.1. It's got a center and a left and a wave frequency and surround sounds and everything. Some of these I've got in 5.1. I think this splashing, that's the most important sound right there. So that's the one I need to focus on. Everything else needs to sort of support that sound. A little more background. Bit of clunking sound. Some of that other water wheel, but not too much of it. And the frog. Anyway, worth messing around with. There's the sound. Just going to mix that and export that, and that's going to be my mill sound. Now, there's a small problem with the mix, and that's that I'm listening to it on my computer speakers, and I should be listening to it on the actual sound system here. The speaker that's built into the mill is going to sound completely different, uh, especially once it's in position underneath the trestle. So I have a plan. Uh, what I'm going to do is that you can hold up to 10 different sound files on that soundboard and I'm going to create like three or four different mixes that I think are going to sound good and then when we get it all installed I can just switch between the four different mixes and we can choose the one we like. Right. So, here are uh, the mixes. I'll just play them for you, and you can pick the one you like, but uh, we're not going to know exactly what we've got until the mill is in place. Well, I kind of like number two because it has a nice sounding frog. 
You know, I played more frog on that one and a little less water splash. Let's see how it sounds on the mill. That'll be fun. And then we'll uh, we'll just pick one. Right. So next week we're going to be building the sound system and you don't want to miss that. So if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And the easy way to do that is to click on the upcoming blue button. Zoink! Right there the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Tuesday. We'll see you then. We'll see ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.